Hello, I'm Luke. Welcome back to the Sandboy Saga. This is Chapter 2, Block Boys. Last week we looked at 2D. I mentioned that I moved into 3D, the world of 3D, after about a year of doing nothing, but sometimes thinking about sand. And this is the first thing I made. Just a little thing where you can drop little sand blocks everywhere. And I really wanted to see if you could just drag around and pour it, which felt quite satisfying. And I tried to make it as big as possible without it lagging too much. I'm using 3.js for this, or 3.js by Mr. Doob. Thanks, Mr. Doob. Shout out to you. And the nice thing about 3D is that you can move around it and see the other side, which is kind of nice. So I made the camera move around like that. I found that pretty tricky. But I think I was just being a bit silly with it, a bit stupid. And I tried to make it look a little bit nicer. So I made the background glow different colours. Like a sort of, uh, I don't know, neon light sort of thing. And I changed, changed the colour of the sand a bit. I'm always changing the colour of the sand throughout this. And of course, the sand boys are nothing without their friend the water. Water lads or whatever they are. Seem to work quite well, look kind of cool. But of course, uh, in 3D, I found you could do quite fun stuff quite easily. I mean, I found it fun. Don't know if everyone finds it fun, but I made it, I like making little lakes, pouring the water in. You can make, yeah, you can make huge cliffs. And I thought it looked kind of cool when the water overflowed from it and as you can see I made the water a little bit translucent as well so you can see through some of it oh there it goes and you can even make a whole sea whole ocean wow and this was kind of lagging my computer out a bit though if I added any more water or sand it was really causing troubles but this is about as much as I could fit in at this stage and I tried to figure out if I could just tweak a few numbers and make a whole other element so I tried to make some slime which is just exactly the same as water but with some of the numbers tweaked and I was playing around with a bit of surface tension too but it didn't really work and I made another powder, made some snow, which just drops water after all, it melts. Just melts after a certain amount of time, this one. And, oh, this was really lagging it out, but I tried to make a river. By putting a sort of glacier at the top and letting it run down. It's the slowest river ever, but it is a little sandboy river. And I was playing around a lot with temperature to try and see how we could get temperature passing from one atom to the other. So I made slime a little bit warmer than the air so it can actually melt snow a bit quicker. And now the snow's being a bit more realistic because if it's next to something else that's cold, it will stay colder for longer. And then I wanted something that was a bit hotter. So I added some steam, some water vapor, and after a while it loses temperature to the air and drops down as water. It's raining. And we needed something that could make steam. So I made some lava that is basically just a hot, hot, hot slime. And if it's next to water or something, it, it evaporates it into water vapor. And of course, I felt like I had to make a volcano for some reason, a mini volcano and pour some water in it to see it sort of erupt out some water vapour. But I thought the lava didn't really look sort of dangerous enough or fiery enough, so I made a little fire element and then I made sure that, yeah, it sort of bubbled out of the lava all the time. You can actually ignite some slime. And if you used enough snow or water, you can put out the slime and everything. But it takes quite a lot. And I tried to see if I could make an 
atom that's bigger than just one cube. You know, so this is a little slate and it's three by three little square. It was quite fiddly to place on this engine. So this took quite a few attempts. Ta-da! And to try out all these different elements, here they are, all going down some stairs. Water, slime goes down a bit slower. Lava goes down and sets fire to the slime. We've got the snow that pretty much instantly melts because the stairs are now really hot because of the lava. Whoops. And a good old sand. And then I decided, yep, this was pretty fun. 3D sand boys is probably a good idea to keep doing. But so far, everything had just been one massive playground and prototype in one huge file. So I went through everything and deleted it. And I started again. Uh, uh, yeah, because basically it was running too slowly and the code was too messy. I wanted to make it a lot bigger and a lot more impressive because some of that temperature stuff was really killing my computer. So next week... It'll be time for Big Boys, where we look at, well, some of the crazy things we can do if we make a bigger Sandboys engine. Thanks for watching!